What's the buzz? What's the tea? We're back. We're back. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. Hello. Welcome back to you from the neighborhood noob. Of course, I'm friendly. Oh, candy friendly. We're back with Gemstone SMP. I'm sorry about my hiatus or not being here last episode. It seems there's a there's a pumpkin here. Um, and a lot of people are angry with me about, you know, uh, painting their sheep orange. I, I don't remember doing that. I, I don't think I did that. No, no. But, uh, they're pissed. <laughs> Either way, today we are going to work on another build, an another part of our candy land. And, uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll look gorgeous and pretty and nice. Oh, it's going to look so good. But uh, without further ado, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Don't forget to eat spaghetti. And, uh, well, let's get into this. Let's go. What a beautiful day and I can't help myself from shining. And, uh, uh what is that? Hmm. A branch. Hmm. Well, that certainly is something. Um, I just, huh. Kind of looks like a tentacle coming out. I don't... I don't get it. I don't like this at all. I guess we could, um... We could work with this. I mean, it is nature, and I'm not a big nature fan. Oh, God. It's parkour. I hate parkour. Who would make a parkour thing? Why Why are you doing this to me? Oh, God, there's a spider. Why is there a spider coming after me? No, get down. This is my... Well, technically it's not, but it's mine now. It's my branch. Oh, we could we could build something out this, you know, like a, a, a the the honey thing, that the thing I had for the honey. Yeah, we could build that. That sounds great. Let's let's let's, let's, let's get build a honey house off this <laughs> or something, <laughs> like a big honeycomb. Oh, that would be cute. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. The area is lit up. That means you are not allowed here anymore. God damn. Well, I, we could come up with some ideas for a honey home. That'd be nice. I like that. Let's go have a look at some ideas. All right. Now that I've made like a little thing off the bottom so that we can hang something there, like a, some sort of beehive or something, I'm thinking of either like a cylindrical shape or like a, an arch shape or maybe a box shape. I'm not entirely sure, but I, I want it. To, it's got to face this way so that we can connect it to the path. So put it like right here or something. And uh, I'm thinking using these ideas, these pictures as inspiration, you know, going off like that coal honey, honeycomb, honey hive. Uh, I might put some glass panels in there and a door just or, or glass so that the honey um, or the bees can be locked inside. Put some dirt in there, kind of make it more of like a, a honey area rather than just the, you know, beehive or house. It was something more practical, you know, something more practical. Could even maybe make it into a store or something. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. But honestly, I, I think that these references are good ideas, and we're gonna try to build something off them. Of course, uh, I've never built a honey house before. I've worked with honey, but not very often. And and I will have to uh, collect a lot of honey. Uh, see if anyone else has honey available. Uh, we might have to start doing honey stuff. I do actually have a whole bunch of uh, of honey hives. Uh, I wouldn't say, like, huge amounts, so we might go around seeing if we can find some more. But for now, I think I have enough to contemplate and think about. And uh, I, I, I'm going to think some more while we walk around and find some hives. Uh, we're going to need our silk touch pickaxe, and we're going to need to clean out our inventory. I might do a shove in the uh, shove it shove away for now, because I I really don't need any of this, and I don't want to think about it. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. <laughs> no one can make me think about it. There we go. All right, let's go have a look around and see if we can find some hives. I will say I'm sorry if I seem rushed today. I'm a little in my head because, well, a lot of stuff has happened on the server lately, and it, it's it, a lot of building, a lot of random bits and pieces. We had the ugly bridge that uh, the person who made the ugly bridge was not happy about me removing it. But we added new bridges recently. And then people are like, well, do you want to build the new bridges? I'm like, no, I don't want to spend all my time building those bridges. No offense. Plus, um, I'm not very good at bridges, to be honest. And they're like, oh, well, we'll, we'll uh, give you the skin radic. It's like they're, they're kind of pushing off the uh, job on me when I didn't kind of offer. 
Uh, if I offered, then sure, but I didn't, and it just feels like, uh, oh, okay, well, you know, you could do it. Um, they could ask for my help, but it just, if you don't ask for someone's help and you just say you could do it, you do it, it just, it doesn't feel as nice. And now if I offer, it's just because I feel pressured. And and, and that's kind of kind of the vibe, you know, you just, sometimes you just feel pressured to do things rather than actually doing them. Hmm. And I don't like being in that situation. I really don't. Also, there there does there does seem to be you know new people joining every uh, every every week, so that's also very nice. You know, there's lots of new people, but I feel bad for them like having to catch up to the point where we're at, because you know, uh, uh, two days in, a week in, a month in, so much progress can happen at very different paces. And and yes, they can dedicate a lot of time, but do you really want to dedicate a, a huge chunk of time just to catch up to other people? And who who hasn't? You know, started started a world and then just felt like the, the the server and start on a server and they just feel like I don't I don't match up to all these people and then end up not playing because you you feel like you're never going to be able to catch up to them and they're doing events and it, it, it's a lot. I can I can understand why people would be like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. It's too much. And there's also just people who come on for like I don't know the first week and then we never see them again. That's also an issue, because then their base is just sitting there half built, or a quarter built, or not even built at all, and it's just like a, a setup uh, for, for the, the future of the base. And then we have to decide whether to uh, leave it there or not. Are they going to come back, and are they going to be pissed if they come back and their stuff is gone, like three weeks later? Is, is there a deadline? And, and it's usually people, like, we're not going to remove stuff, we're not going to, like, take down people's stuff if they're, like... I don't know, ages away from spawn. If they're 10,000 blocks, I'm not touching that. But if you're right next to spawn, I feel like there's also that expectation that if you're going to build right next to spawn, you're going to put the effort in to be there. Because <laughs> someone else could have built next to spawn. Someone else could have been close by and uh, not had to worry so much about walking all that way to get back to spawn. Someone else could have that prime real estate. I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like all these expectations and semi rules can be a bit much. Why did someone just place nether rack everywhere here? Oh, there's a portal. I might use that portal later to uh, get some glowstone. All the portals at the moment, that's the, that's the fourth issue. The fourth issue is all the portals at the moment are going to the roof of the nether. And uh, as someone who's honestly just trying to get glowstone a lot of the time, getting a roof to the nether is not going to be helpful. No, 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 no. All these are very small issues. All these are easily fixed. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm worried. I, I, some, it's weird. Servers can die as quickly as they are created. And um, I, I, I like being in certain servers. I like feeling like part of a team, part of a group. And it, it just kind of sucks sometimes when you're worried that, like, something's going to happen or someone's going to get in trouble or... Uh, the server's gonna die because, I don't know, something small and insignificant or some form of drama. Uh, I just hope that that isn't the case. Also, hello, Mr. B. Hi. Hi. So I'm, ta I'm talking about uh, talking shop. I'm talking shop, you know, talking shop. Oh, there we go. I mean, think about it. How many servers have you been on that close so quickly? And then you just haven't had enough time to adapt and feel close to the team. Uh, maybe I'm the only one. If you could put in the comments below your experience with uh, servers that don't last very long and how you feel about them, that would that would be amazing. Get to know you a bit better. I hope there's a bee in there. All right, let's get, no. Okay, so we got we got five so far. I'm going to have a ridiculous amount. I'm going to build it into the side of the actual build, but I'm worried that they can pop out on the opposite end of the beehive. So we might just have to do the inner layer. Ooh, I got one of your heads. It was the best. Wait, where are you? Oh, there you are. The best around. I believe these guys just keep spawning, no? Oh! Oh, instead of getting bad omen, you get bad omen bottles now. That's actually a good idea. Uh, it's it's a new feature, and I keep forgetting it's a new feature because, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of strange. But uh, you get a bottle of uh, bad omen instead of getting cursed. So you can pop it. 
and the, the bad omen raids are a lot harder now, depending on what level you get, but they're a lot harder. Oh, there's some light over there. Why is there some light over there? Oh, hi, sir. Goodbye, sir. Uh, I'm gonna kill the witch. Kill the witch, kill the witch, kill the witch! Which, have you seen any more bee- Oh, too bad. I was gonna ask them if they've seen any beehives, but obviously I can't ask them now. <laughs> You're shooting each other, Jesus. Hmm, I have an interesting choice of materials, and in all honesty, I like it, but I don't know. I could do a shaded thing where I put this at the bottom, this at the top, and this in the middle. And just like, goes, blends downwards. That could be interesting, that could be interesting. Hmm. Either that, I probably would use this one, to be honest. Because I want to make like a honeycomb and just like hang it up there. Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to need more of this one, which does mean we're going to have to go back to the Badlands. Oh, God. Let's go get a barrel so we can put some stuff in there. Uh, put all the things we're going to need, because we're going to have to put all the honey hives. Honey, honey, how you thrill me. Uh-huh, honey, honey. Honey, honey, nearly killed me. Uh-huh. Honey, honey, the way that you make me feel. Buzz, buzz. <laughs> All right, uh, well, let's, let's leave one barrel there. We don't need heaps. Mm hmm Gonna come down here. I think I've chosen the one that I want to, like, look into making, like a heavy inspiration type thing. And we'll see. Put that there. Put all the honey hives. And uh, put all this. And I am going to go get some terracotta. Sure, we should probably make a boat. Eh, we'll make one along the way. Time! To go off into the world and get some yellow terracotta. Because that's the one thing that we can't really create here. Um, well, we can, but we'll just have to color actual terracotta that we use. And I'd rather just go get yellow terracotta. Now that we've got the materials that we need, we also have a whole bunch more terracotta just in case. I think it's about time that we actually start the build itself. It's going to take time. Lots and lots of time. I've got to go get my scaffolding. But I'm worried. I'm nervous. Never really made a honey hive before, so I, I don't know how this is going to turn out. I have a few ideas how to make it look cool, but, you know, it, 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 all of them could go wrong. So, so, so very wrong. So wrong. So wrong. So, yeah, a little bit worried. A little bit worried. I, I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm sure I'll be fine. I just uh, need to stop thinking about it and stop worrying myself. And plus, the bees are going to feel my anxiousness and get upset as well. It's just, it's just the vibe, you know? It's just the vibe. The poor little bees. I think we're gonna go up one more. Mm, actually, no, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Well, let's go into a wonderful, wonderful time lapse. A wonderful, beautiful, amazing, so great, so great, so great, so amazing, so many people were there for the time lapse. Let's go.
Well, I'm not really a shop person. Like I'm not I'm, because the, you have to upkeep, you know, the the supply, and I'm not very good at upkeeping the supply. <laughs> I forget. I'm trying with the mangroves, but it's shitty. Oh yeah. Also, like. That's why they're expensive. And like people, what 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 would I sell? That's the other thing. What what would I put the effort into collecting a lot of to sell? Um, yeah, that's the issue. Maybe that thing that represents you. Well, I can't sell any that's cakes and bakery like stuff because someone's already claimed that. Yeah, so I I I don't know what to do. Um, uh, it's fine. I don't need a store. It's fine. I don't need a store. <laughs> I'm going to put glass here. The the bees are going to go inside and uh, they're going to create honey all the time. I've got a whole bunch of uh, hives here. But do make sure they get some flowers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to be putting dirt on the floor, on the ground. Ah, anyway. You can get free dirt. Oh, yes, I, I did see that. I, I still think I have some dirt left. I did have to terraform Sketch's area because it was kind of floating. But I think I still have enough. Yeah. Yeah, I took I took some cobblestone. Yeah. We could get for getting a lot of cobble, I guess. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Anyway, I I'll, I'll talk to you later. I gotta go get um some stuff for the glass. So you know how I said to lemonade that I didn't need any dirt. Um, I need dirt. <laughs> oh well, oh well, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, is there a new person? One no picks. I'm gonna go hi. Okay, hey. Hello. Oh, I got a skeleton on top of my beehive. It's hiding up there. But yeah, there we go. We've got the, the we've got this door, which I'm not the biggest fan of the yellow. Uh, I might change it to brown, but you know, nice little area in here. We got the light it up. Might change this to brown before we continue. <laughs> just gross. It's just gross. It's just gross. It's just gross. Anywho, <laughs> let's go deal with the dirt situation first. Because we've got to put a layer of dirt as the flooring. Um, so that we can put a whole bunch of flowers. Uh, I don't know if we need green uh, greenery in order to place flowers. If so, we do have some uh, grass blocks. So that will be easy. And plus, I have a pickaxe that has a silk touch. That's, just, that's, that's fine. I don't know what flowers to put in. Maybe I should do yellow flowers. Like... How many different cut kinds of yellow flowers are there? I can't do like brown flowers because, well, there's no brown flowers. And then, and then, and then, and then I, I don't like putting nature in, in my candy land, but it, it's contained. You know, it's going to be in a cage, basically. There's, there's no way it's going to get out. So I think that's fine. You know, I think that's fine. Those bees are just like stuck there forever, and I feel bad for them. Memories. All alone in my memories. I think the, the worst part is. Oh. Uh, I think the worst part is that um, how am I going to get the bees to not be pissed off? Because I don't want to put like fireplaces under every, every single one of them. Um, maybe I can put them underground and just have like... Is that going to work? Like, if I put carpet on it, will it not work anymore? Not entirely sure. Never had it. Oh, God. Yeah, it looks like Pumpkin Spice Friendly's been here. Well, like I know he was here here, but I didn't know he was up there there. Memories. I don't even. Oh, gotta eat some food. Wait, okay, no, wait, wait, wait. There it is. Ah. Hmm. The ugly, ugly bridge builder over there. All alone in my midnight. I saw so many memories that made me question everything. I've been thinking though. I've had, I've had discussions inside of my head. Although Ruru does know that he doesn't need to put that there anymore, right? I've had discussions inside of my head. Of starting up preparing for mini games and such. Like we're we're preparing for a mini game, and once we've done our village, we'll be able to do that. But for now, it's like you know, we can't, and that's rough. <laughs> that's rough. That's rough. It would be cool if there were like different mini games in each of these. You know, like you could put a mini game in each one that uh, was part of the like the Among Us style, so that uh, you could do your tasks. <laughs> you can kill people inside of here. But, the, but you'd have to, like, turn off chat or something. You'd have to make the death uh, death names not appear. Okay, I need some brown dye. I think we have some... Where is it? Cocoa beans somewhere? I think I put it in the seeds, didn't I? I put it in the seeds. We need the brown dye for the... Yeah, there we go. Oh, turn all this into brown dye. We'll put the rest away. 
But we need it for the door. For the door. I'm hoping we have enough. Oh, we got, oh, just enough. Yeah, actually, that looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> They're just dying. So, what we have to do now is we have to replace all of this with dirt. So that we can start putting the bees in here and collecting the flowers and such. I'm excited. I might use some of the hives as decoration and then place some of them on the like the edges here uh, under campfires and then put trapdoors to cover up the campfires. It's uh, going to be slightly practical and slightly not. We just have to figure out how we want to do it. <laughs> we really just have to take a moment to figure out the design of the inside. I haven't done any other insides because I don't really need to. They're not practical. Whereas this one's more of a practical one. I actually want to use the, like, sell honey, maybe. Um, sell wax for, like, waxing and stuff and sell candles. So we'll see. We'll see what comes of it. But for now, I just want to set it up. So this is going to be the first practical one. The pumpkin house as well is going to get, like, uh, hopefully, I'm hoping someone can uh, build a pumpkin farm stuff underneath. Like sugarcane and pumpkin. If, if, if no one else can do it, I will get to it. We'll make that an episode, me doing redstone. But hopefully I don't, I don't have to, because I'm not very good at redstone. I am a sweet little boy. The sweet little baby boy. I am uh, in my 20s, and uh, and I'm a 20-year-old candy. You know, it's, 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 uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I can't. I, I've been so sticky for so long. Good old 20-year-old can candy. I've never had a candy that's uh, been older than, like, I don't know, five years. Although, technically, a bag of candy could be sitting on a thing and I wouldn't even know. So, maybe that is incorrect. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. You know, I'm just going to build up. That's fine. Rather than figure it out. <laughs> Rather than figure it out. I might actually use glass blocks, though, for the center of it. So, I'm just going to do the, the around areas. And in the center, I'm going to place some grass blocks. Just because I'm realizing it's going to look ugly without... <laughs> Some form of, you know, grass, some color, and I usually, I usually incorporate nature into my builds all the time, but being a candy person, I, I just, I can't, physically and mentally, I just can't do it, you know? It's rough, it's rough, it's round, it's so round. I'll leave this square. All right, I'm going to finish this up, and then we'll start putting in the honey hives. Honey, honey, how you thrill me, aha, uh -huh, honey, honey. Do, 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 do. I've got a bit of a, a theme going on with my flowers, as you can see. We've got the oranges, the yellows, and the reds, and some whites. Uh, I think that's good. A few more of the yellows in, I think. Center there, maybe. Now, other things I'm going to do is I'm going to... Hopefully we have the space to do this. I'm going to have pieces coming down from the ceiling as well. So, like, hives coming down from the ceiling. Just put it right here, put one there, put one there. In fact, I'll put one there now. Actually, let's just, let's see which ones actually have bees in them. Bees in a trap, bees in a trap. Oh my god, there's so many bees in that trap. <laughs> I'm going to take all these and we're going to go through, figure out which ones actually have bees inside. No? Okay. This one? No? Okay. If we have two more to check, this one? No. Finally, this one. No. Okay, well, there's a lot of decorational ones we have then. I'm definitely going to use the extra flowers because you can breed these guys, right? Can uh, anyone else want to be bred? Oh, that's gross. Never mind. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> I didn't realize what I had said. Uh, here we go. Extra bees. Yay. Lots of little bees. Um, where else should we place these? I feel like I should have one in that corner. Over here somewhere. Excuse me, bees. Somewhere here. Hmm. Oh, there's even some up there. I didn't know there was... Oh, they're just choosing places. They're just choosing places. That's really cool. Oh, the little bees as well. Any, any big bees need these? Any big bees need these? There we go. More of them. Ah. This place is covered in bees. And there we go. Oh, look at this. Let's get some shears. Um... Put stuff away, but we should we need some shears so we can harvest some of that honey. Can't harvest all the honey. We can only harvest the honey that's behind the campfires, or sorry, uh, uh, with the campfires under them. Otherwise, the bees get really pissed, and I don't appreciate that. You know, 
I know I usually, uh, you know, hang out with the people more and do more stuff in episodes, but th this episode I wanted to chill. I've been feeling a little bit under the weather mentally, so I just wanted to have a, like a chill day, do my own thing, uh, not really interact with everyone else. I know they're doing stuff, but I just, I needed some time. You know, it's really important to focus on your mental health. It's all the rage, all the buzz. Hi guys, look at how many there are. Oh my god. There are so many bees. I didn't realize how many. Some of them just mustn't have come out of their um out of their thing yet. Well, as I said, I can only take from the ones that are afire, so all these ones down here. Just gotta remember to do that, you know? Bye guys. Have a good one. Yaw. Perfect! Our honey house. Oh, I love it so much. What the hell? What I, is it? Why is it so tiny? How is it so tiny? See, it's a normal size. What the hell? Can you make it smaller? It's so creepy. I don't know if I like that. Rowing on my stuff? Jeez, so rude. Who's on? Hmm, I don't think anyone would do that. If I just not noticed, probably just not noticed. Well, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. You know what? I'm going to put it right here. There we go. Perfect. It'll be further immortalized. And I will put rawr at the top. Ready? One, two, three. Eh! Rawr. There we go. <laughs> Just memories. Hey, dog. Why are you orange? Why are you orange? Ew. I hate orange. Well, well, well. We've come to the end. That's right. We've come to the end of the episode. We have made our honey house. And it looks so cute. We didn't really do a huge amount in this episode. We, I just need to get something done. I need to, uh, you know, be myself and be peaceful. And this was really nice and I enjoyed myself. I hope you enjoyed it too. And hopefully this will slowly progress with more honey getting placed everywhere. Ah, it's going to be so nice. Bees, just so many bees. I'm going to collect all this honey. I'm going to collect all the honey. But until next time, I say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being part of your friendly neighborhood community. Don't forget to like. Subscribe, share with all your friends, don't forget to eat spaghetti, and I'll see you in the next episode of Gemstone SMP. Goodbye!